mitochondrial function all the way to our genetic and epigenetic expression. And within it, this culmination of toxicity and heavy metals and mold toxins and processed food and, bombard and radiation bombardment and everything moving so fast, right? If you don't answer somebody's text in two minutes, I mean, if you are late one minute for a Zoom, you got to let the other person know, right? In the past, you would say 100 years ago, I'll come between 6 and 10 p.m., right? Okay, whenever you come, it's okay. Now we are 30 seconds late. We have to notify someone. Speed is the movement that creates heat, and heat is inflammation, and inflammation degrades every tissue, and the body has to respond to inflammation. It can't survive with inflammation. So inflammation is a response to this very deep imbalance that is happening inwardly and outwardly. And our interest is one, to remove the factors that are fueling the inflammation. And that's where the toxins and the vector bone diseases and mycotoxin illnesses that you, know, you, you specialize in, et cetera, play a big role. And deeper to see why is it happening? What kind of influence that it has on us that are part of chronic disease that are actually not always identified as part of the disease? Mm -hmm. What I see, you're, you're speaking from a very philosophical and scientific point of view and just how those those two really line up. And actually, that's one of my my favorite things, uh, my most favorite things about you, Isaac, 